doing really well and welcome back to another weekly vlog so i haven't vlogged the last couple of weeks because it's literally been a very very boring i've literally just been at home i went to london once last week with shooting and that's pretty much all i did and the weather's been so miserable as well we haven't been in the garden um enjoying our furniture so it's been a very boring couple of weeks um but this week i'm going to london tomorrow so like hugo's scratching the door because he wants to get out go out then sorry what was i saying so yeah i'm going into london tomorrow for literally some meetings i'm also going to film a london come shot with me as well because i have like a two three hour gap before an event that i'm going to so i thought right okay i'll film a come shot with me to london and of course that is already live already it went live on sunday so i think that just above for you and then the weekend is russie's birthday and um, my friend is back from london on friday so we're going out for some food in birmingham for some indoor dining which i'm really looking forward to and then me and russ are going out on saturday um for a meal at Miller and Carter lunchtime. I'm also getting my eyebrows um lifted. So I'm getting the um fluffy brow um sort of what's it called now? Um what's it called? I'm getting LVL on my lashes and then what is it called on your eyebrows? Um, laminate brow. So I'm getting like a laminate brow done, like a sort of fluffy eyebrow because my eyebrows desperately need shaping. I've sort of just really left them because you guys know I've been growing them like during the lockdown and stuff using the castor oil. Um, so yeah, they do need some shaping and some grooming. And then I'm having the LVL done on my lashes at the same salon that I had my um, nails done, which of course need doing again. But I've got appointments already booked for next week at a salon in London. So I'm gonna get my nails done there. So I'm gonna get ready now as I have a campaign and deadline today. And thought I'd show you this Elizabeth Arden foundation and primer in action. As I had a few questions about it over on my Instagram and also I did include it in my April favorites video. Um, it's a really lovely product. So I've got all my moisturizer and everything on i've done my skincare i washed my hair because i've just been to the gym so i'm going to start with this this is the elizabeth arden flawless start and um, primer so this is basically a serum primer so it literally cares for your skin like a serum but preps for your preps for your makeup like a primer so as you can see here it's just a little pipette so i do a couple of squeezes i keep like not getting it in i keep either pumping it and it's going back into the bottle um so I'm just going to apply a bit onto my face here. It's a really, really lovely serum. It contains hyaluronic acid in it as well. It's just a really lovely product. I love Elizabeth Arden for their makeup and their skincare as well. So I'm just going to massage that all in. I've also slightly turned my dressing table around. I've sort of kept it this side because I wanted the mirror here. So I'm sitting at a different angle, but I hope the light still looks okay. And then I'm going to use the brush as well that it comes with. So this is the Elizabeth Arden. It's basically just a double-ended brush. So as you can see here, the end is sort of shaped. That sort of sculpts your face. So it's really good at getting around, obviously, around your chin, around your nose, and really getting in those crevices. And there's also this little brush here as well. So I'm going to just apply the foundation. So that I am wearing a shade 220. I have got fake tan on my face. And um, because I obviously cleanse so much, um, like double cleansing or whatnot it really quickly comes off my face so this 220 n is a really lovely shade that matches my skin really nicely so i'm just going to put a bit on my face and then i'll blend it all in i'm just gonna apply that bit now and then go in and blend sorry i'm using the little viewfinder as a mirror so if i keep talking to the little screen on the side there it's because i'm using it as a mirror so as you can see, the brush really gets in there. Sorry, it looks a little bit dark. I really, really love this brush. It literally really blends this foundation in really lovely. And like with the primer as well underneath, it just creates the perfect base like for your makeup. Like honestly, this has lasted so long. Like I went to London last week shooting and it lasted a whole shoot day, but it also wears really nicely as well. It doesn't sort of like rub off or go patchy. It just like, it lasts for so long and it just looks really natural on the skin. And I really love it. Like I'll wear it to London tomorrow because I've got a day of meetings and we're running around and sweating in London tomorrow. Um, so of course you'll be able to see how this wears then as well. So I'm going to put a little bit more on here. So again, this foundation is super lightweight. It literally feels like I've got nothing on my skin. I really love foundations that are 
lightweight, like really breathable. I hate heavy makeup, like I think you guys know already. I always talk about products that are really lightweight, super natural, really easy to apply as well. I sort of like, don't like spending ages doing my makeup. I like to get ready really quickly. And like with this brush as well, it blends super evenly and really nice. I'm just using my other mirror to see if I have missed anywhere. But as you can see, let me bring the camera closer. It's a really lovely match on my skin, like so, so natural. It's just a really lovely foundation. So I did the colour match online, so they matched it to my NARS one, which was the Salzburg in the soft matte. So they did the colour match based on um, this one. It was a really good match. I had two shades sent to me. So I had the 220 and also the 230N as well. I have got a darker shade, which is a lot darker, which is the 240. So they sent me a good range of shades to try. So obviously the 220 is good if my sort of tan is like sort of wearing off a little bit. And then the 230 as well is really good if I've just fake tanned. And obviously if I am more darker, and do get to have a nice natural summer tan and then I can wear this shade as well so yeah a really lovely foundation highly recommend I really love um obviously trying these products out and obviously share things with you guys that I love I generally use and this has been my new everyday foundation and it also you only need a small bit as well a small bit really does go a long way so I'm going to finish off getting ready now as I have a campaign that I need to film this morning so it's getting on for what time is it now it's literally just gone 11 o'clock so I need to crack on um film my campaign i'm also filming a youtube video today as well and the rest of the day is going to be very boring i'm going to be editing my campaign sending off for approval and also editing my youtube video as well so yeah today is just another day at home and i'll take you along with me to london tomorrow and happy Wednesday so as you can see I've just got to London now I'm just walking through Leicester Square going for a breakfast meeting with the PRs at Pandora so of course I'll take you along with me today um, the rain's sort of holding up so as you can see it's really nice sunny skies I mean just for now see how long it lasts I've literally just put on a trench coat today with my white jeans um, so yeah I'll take you along with me So I've literally been doing literally filming today, um, editing, emails, just trying to catch back up from yesterday. So I didn't really vlog like loads um, being in London yesterday. I did film a Zara come shopping with me, which we'll just see and go live on Sunday. So I'll link that just above for you. And um, so I was busy filming like two videos. So obviously I didn't get like loads of footage like for that day, like when it come to like the meeting and events, I find it quite hard to vlog when obviously it was like the first time me being back in London going to meetings attending events as well and I hate sort of like when you're at events you're sort of taking pictures on your phone like your story and then I'm also vlogging as well trying to get little bits in there and as well as networking speaking to the influencers the PRs and stuff so like Hugo's just having a little um fuss down here so yeah it's definitely like getting used to it again I did feel like quite overwhelmed like traveling on my own London was definitely noticeably busy um, compared to the last times that I've been 
fine. That's obviously because everything started to pretty much be back to normal now. Um, so yeah, it was a really lovely day. I was so tired this morning because I literally, Russa took me to the Australian station at around seven. We left here at 7 a.m. and didn't get back here till about quarter past seven. So again, we've been at the house for like 12 hours. And then Hugo had like a play date at my mom's yesterday and he had such a lovely play date. He's still very drunk and tired from yesterday, aren't you? You're very sleepy, you're not gonna say hello. He's just sitting down here having a love. So yeah, Russ is on the way back from work now. He's literally had his COVID jab yesterday as well. So before he came to get me from the train station, he had to have his COVID injection for his first one because I'm double vaccinated now, which I'm really grateful for. And I do feel more comfortable going around now, going to London, knowing that I am like double vaccinated. Um, so he's had his first one. So he's just rang me in the car. He's got a bit of a headache and a very sore arm. So he's just gonna come back and chill. So I've had a parcel arrive from Tan Lux this morning. So you guys know I'm such a huge lover of Tan and looks these are kindly sent from the PR team it's like he goes just like whenever I open boxes he's like what is it because he can hear the rattling he's like what is in their mom so they've kindly sent me some new products out to try so I thought I'd literally unbox it with you and just show you what they have sent me. So I did share like the Tan Lux um, products in my, one of my April, I think it was my, Mar no, my March favorites video. And I think as well in my overall favorites as well, but you have seen it on my vlogs and my tanning routine. So you guys know that I love the tanning water. So let me just put all these on the side here. Then I'll go through each one that they've kindly sent to me. So, so first of all, we have this, what right, Hugo's just, sniffing this is the butter so this is the illuminating butter <laughs> you go what are you doing you love smellies don't you you absolutely love smellies um so yeah this is a gradual tan so again a great product to use in between like my tanning routine and my tanning water so i like to sort of do like top up tans um so when i saw this i was like amazing so it does say apply to the skin and a circular motion from head to toe caution we advise a patch test um no streaks no smells no drama so yeah definitely looking forward to trying that out i'm sure it's super nourishing as well then the next thing we have here, I think these are some more tan illuminating self drops. So I think these are some new ones here. Yeah, I've had a top up of the face. These are my tanning drops that I absolutely love. So they've kindly topped me up on these. And they've also, sorry, here you go, the big snort there. They've also sent me the illuminating tanning drops as well for my body so i've not actually tried these before so these are the illuminated tanning drops for your body that you mix in with your body moisturizer so it does say on here apply apply mix two to six drops per body part with your usual body moisturizer and apply to the skin in circular motion from head to toe additional drops will increase depth of color thoroughly wash hands after use so this is the one I definitely need to try out. I'll have to have a look at different moisturizers to see what I have that's sort of like, I'm using one by Bondi Sands at the moment that's quite like, quite thick. So I feel like I need quite a light and liquidy um, body butter and um, moisturizer, if that makes sense. So it really sort of blends in really nicely and I can get like really good coverage. So yeah, those are the body tanning drops. So looking forward to trying those out. I'm definitely feeling a bit more braver with fake tan now. You guys know that I'm sort of not the best fake tanner and I've been using like gradual tans. Obviously with tan looks, I started with the gradual tanning lotion, which I really loved. And then I started doing the water. Really love the water, it goes on really evenly as well. I do need to top up my tan at the moment. Um, so there are the face drops and this is a new product here as well which is the hyaluronic self tan serum i just love the packaging that tan Lux products come in literally so so nice so this is the super glow hyaluronic self tan serum as well so again another lovely product by tan Lux, which i'm looking forward to trying out i think i have this one already actually i think this may be another top up product because i have it to use with my um gradual tan i'm sure it's the one that i've got let me have a look so yeah, this one is a top up. And then of course, these are the face shops that I've been using as well, just here. Have you seen how nosy Hugo is? He's, I think he's after these little like containers. It's because they're rattling. You know what he's like, he's a monkey. So those are all the products that Tan Lux have kindly sent me. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this. I might try this out maybe 
I sort of need to top up my tan so I'm thinking do I try and do a bit of it tonight see how I get on um but yeah I might apply it tonight actually just apply it to my legs and see how I get on with it um and then of course I'll try and see what moisturizer I have to mix in with these body drops so yeah of course I'll link all these products down below for you as well as my favorite tanning water as well you guys know on my Instagram I love to share that tanning water and I think for me their products are just so nice they're so natural but they also last for ages as well I think my go-to tanning products from then has to be the face drops like I don't usually apply fake tan on my face like I never used to I used to sort of just leave my face but since being introduced to these face tanning drops I did share a little story over my Instagram how to apply them and I basically like cleanse on my face apply my toner then obviously do my serums and whatnot you can mix it with your serums or your moisturizer I basically just put a little bit of a moisturizer on the top of my hand here drop two to three drops mix it all together and then put it on my face I did do a little video on my stories um so yeah it's really easy to apply again and very very natural as well and it also looks so nice when you're not wearing any makeup either it honestly looks like a natural sun kiss look of course I'll link all these down below for you as always and anything else as well showed in this video so it's just gone it's literally like 10 to 8 and I'm still sat at my desk um I'm basically going out tomorrow with my friend for the afternoon so she's coming over about half 12 um and I've got a deadline in the morning as well so because I've got that I'm like oh my god I need to get my YouTube video done for Sunday which I've just finished in editing now which is my come shopping with me and then it's Rossi's birthday the weekend as well so Saturday morning I think I've already said but I'm getting my eyebrows um um what's it called laminated like doing like a nice fluffy brow and then I'm also getting some LVL on my lashes um so of course I'll take you along with me there but I'm just literally waiting for honestly my YouTube takes so long sometimes I've got to clear up all that mess on the landing as well I look so tired today um I keep doing this I always sit at my desk and I've got glasses on my head and these are my blue light glasses that I wear for being on the screen because I feel like I'm on the screen like so much um and these are my Quay Australia um the brand is gonna hear you say it um sorry if I said that wrong but um but yeah they're literally my like I live in these glasses but half the time I'll keep doing this and putting them on my head I sort of go right to the screen like I feel like sometimes I have to lift them off to look at the screen I don't know why I keep doing that um I think it's because they're just on my face so I feel like there's something in the way so I'm literally just um sorry I'm just checking my YouTube's that exporting okay because it literally takes so long to export also Russ is back home now he's literally having a bit of a later dinner tonight so I'm just trying to get everything done and yeah, my video is exporting okay I was just checking that so I'm gonna go and check on Russ now and see what he's doing for dinner <laughs> I was gonna jump out on you no, what are you making well the brioche buns I've got out for with a haircut they're defrosted oh they're defrosted so me and Russ have this oh, nightmare where we buy all our food and then we forget to get it out of the bloody freezer. Really. We get enough of it, we think, oh, we're going to get it out. So put it in the freezer so we save it, cool. <laughs> then we go, oh, oh, I left this morning, what? Me yeah, this really morning. mega early. Also, Russ has had a fresh, I think I said early, he's gone to get his hair cut. So he's got a fresh, fresh trim. trim. Are you weekend. feeling all right now? I'm not going to lie, I don't feel amazing. It just makes you feel I've like got, really lethargic. Like last like, night, I. Went to bed, before, it was all right. Woke up cold to get off the duvet, so I was like, oh, yeah, the thighs are the oh, same, isn't yeah. it? I yeah, went yeah, red yeah. hot. I just come down and get a drink. I was like sweating all the way through. I went cold again, and then woke up again this morning, wet through. So, lucky I'm working in the gym. I've got a bloody went there. I've stood up and had a proper shower and just like, yeah, like, just I had a hot shower and had a cold shower to try and, yeah. So, I heard you get up because the Hugo, sometimes I don't know if it's Hugo that's getting up and waking us up or it's you. He looks bloody. He's on a new, I think I've said before, he's on at raw dog food now. He's on a brand called Bella and Duke, so he has been better, a lot better with his food on it. But I say the last, he's been on this now, I think for about two months. Um, but the last like couple of weeks, he's been quite fussy with some flavours. Um, I've also got a discount code as well for Bella and Duke, where you get like 50% off for your first box. I think switching him to raw dog food was the best thing that we did. I'll show you the bottom of the freezer as well, actually. Um, I know I've mentioned it on my Instagram quite a lot, but I haven't mentioned it on my YouTube. So yeah, this is literally Hugo's drawer. There's lots of flavours. I think before he was on Lily's Kitchen and having processed dog food, um, used to make him really smelly. You were very smelly, wasn't you? You look so tired. You got sleep in your eye. Well, one of my closest mates, he's got a French chin, he was really funny, like Hugo's been, and we literally said, try my we tried Hugo, and he said, right, and yeah, it's helped him as well. But it's the same to me, like every time Hugo 
for some reason a bit, oh, I don't know, eat yeah, that. But I, I think it's because mm. if he's absolutely battered, he'll eat loads. Like if we do, if we do loads of energy, you want to eat food. But when you're lazy and you're sleeping all day, just chilling on the sofa, we eat boredom meats with eat food, but he can't go boredom meats. Yeah, like, yeah. Just want to eat. The weather's been so crap as well. Like, look at the garden. The planters are flying around everywhere. We had to get the cushions inside because obviously the covers were all blowing off. So you can see over there, we've got like. Um, a chair on top of it just to hold the cover down so it just completely kept taking off but because it's been so wet and miserable like we've literally like we've barely walked hugo russ went and took him out yesterday obviously he was at my mom's yesterday playing but he hasn't been out that much has he like i feel really bad for him monday afternoon so okay. about tuesday morning he's hungry i love to take him out, like, to take him out loads but it's just when the weather's crap yeah it's like it's all because of the his coat on i'll get so he gets so good trying to look he's just saying the chicken he smelled chicken you smell chicken. And then I need to put my laundry away. You okay? Why do you always look so sad? You look goopy in your eye. Ew. Yeah, he has been a lot better on this dog food as well. Being on raw dog food, his breath does not smell like at all. And then also, like French bulldogs are known for being very smelly, like gassy dogs. And his farts, didn't they? They used to literally just kill us. Um, but he doesn't like make any nasty smells at all. So it's obviously a lot better for him. His coats, he's not shedding as much either. So of course I'll link my Bella and Duke um, link down below for you as well in case. I know I get quite a lot of questions about Hugo, um, what we feed him and whatnot, but yeah, definitely recommend. It's getting quite smoky. <coughs> right. So open the door. Is it the, what, what have you put on it? The heat. The heat. <laughs> it's gonna be spicy. Yeah, it's the, Let's some, yeah, look how horrible and rainy it is. I mean, this time last year, I know it was locked down, we were literally full on stuck, but we were sunbathing in the garden. I remember well, having a proper tan. Last year, it was dead sunny, it comes to my 35th, and we couldn't do anything. Oh, it was in yeah. The garden, and it, there was a one day rain in May. What day was we meant to be flying out to LA this year? For your birthday? Is it tomorrow? We should technically be landing in LA. Oh. Did you know, Joe? We turned up another bit in the last next five to ten minutes. Technically, that's mad. That is, we should be. Like, I literally, in LA. I, I said this last something. We've moved that LA holiday. Like this is the third time it's been moved. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've moved it now to next May. But obviously, we moved it from last year to this year. Like, what's his thirty-first birthday? We're going to be in LA, and then it's like <laughs> not in LA. Um, but we've got nice things planned, haven't we? We've got like going for some food and stuff, like I've already said. We're going for food, um, seeing family and stuff, and things are definitely a lot more normal now. So we definitely will make up for it next year for two birthdays. Um, also, it's my 30th as well next year, so big three zero. I've had two lockdown birthdays, and we're definitely going to plan and do New York. I really want to go back to New York really bad, especially for my 30th. Like, two birthdays lockdown. I mean, I need to make up for it. Um, so. There's worse things that's happened to people so far. Oh, like, no, saying it's bad, I'm not saying oh, that. It's no. just, I think because I know, I mean, a lot, when I went back to work, we were this before, when I went back to work, I wasn't able to take any annual leave, so I'd been off for months, and then when it comes to time when people could actually go away and do stuff, I wasn't allowed to have any annual leave. Like, I'd have one day, if I had a long weekend, I couldn't have a week, or even four days to get that. Yeah. Because so I said literally, I'm a bit day. penalised that way. Then everyone's going off doing stuff. And we Even though he's on it. furlough, he's like, he didn't want to be on furlough, but then he couldn't have no time off work. But literally, it's been officially two years, nearly two years since me and Russ went to Vegas, and that was our last proper holiday. Yeah. Two and years. beach holiday hasn't been since <laughs> like 2016. Is what? We haven't been on a beach holiday, like a relaxing holiday, like sitting chilling. Since 2016. Yeah, we went to Dominican. That was literally such a long time ago. So I think when are we think if we can travel next year, <coughs> sorry, that's literally kidding me. <coughs> sorry, that the heater mix is like getting right. Are <coughs> you not coughing? I've got a bad cough. Guys, Jesus. This is drama queen coming out. Oh, it's not. It's it literally is. choking. It's not. To heat and mix um, but yeah, fingers crossed 2022. Oh, it's like, where are you gonna go? Yeah. Are you gonna leave me when we go to LA? I know. Be so sad leaving him. I don't want to. I'd cry leave him. 
I remember we went to New York and we on, we just had Hugo. He was only... We dropped off mum and dad. So we come back here because we had to go out early in the morning just so he was already sorted. I got back and we left his throw in his bed. I picked up a sniff down and I just bought We just him. cried, didn't you we? You call me a wuss today, <laughs> but... We cried. Know, you know. Like the first time we left him and we were going away, we full on cried. Like, we felt awful, didn't we? And then we got back and he was, he was staying at Rusty's mum and dad. This is when he was a puppy. And when we got back, he put on so much weight, didn't he? Because he had so much treats at his nan and granddad's. He was the right little chunk. He's waiting for that chicken. Literally. What? <coughs> He's waiting for... You good boy! You know what? I feel like I might get him in at some minutes, you know? Because I feel bad. He's not going to be able to do frost over for tomorrow. Bone, yeah. Is he had a bone, yeah? yeah. You've just had one? Well, you had half of one. He definitely has like filled out a lot more. Like I said before, he, he used to heavier lose. As well. Yeah, he feels like, heavier. Yeah. Heavy, but like he feels like he doesn't feel bigger, but he feels heavier. Like he takes yeah. more. Like I think he hangs himself though. When you pick him up, he's like complete dead weight. Yeah. He just like, especially on, on the night time as well. He lies in the quilt and you he can't. weighs probably about 15, 16 kilos. Probably weighs a bit more. But I remember really weighed him for ages. But we weighed him when he was wasn't in a lot. He's fifteen kilos. So I reckon he's going to be more than that. I reckon now. he's about like 16, 17, 17. now. But easily. when he's in bed. And Lars next to the trying to be like about 50 kilo. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to shop asleep, but you can't move him. Can't, can't shift him off. Little monkey. So yeah, we're gonna have our dinner now, and then of course tomorrow we're going out for some food. We've got a nice weekend plan. So yeah, looking forward to that. Hello guys and happy Saturday. I'm looking nice and fresh face. Um, this morning I'm honestly so tired today. Um, I had such a lovely time in Birmingham like yesterday afternoon. Um, I didn't take my camera and vlog because it was literally one absolutely peeing it down the rain. It was just so miserable and then it was really busy as well in Birmingham. Um, I just wanted to sort of be in the moment and not sort of think about filming or vlogging anything. Um, but yeah the food was delicious. I had, I mean we went to the, we went to the Ivy of course, 100% record recommend who doesn't love the ivy um i had like a monkfish and prawn curry which was i mean chef's kiss um and then i had um what did i have for dessert i had the chocolate bomb as well so i'll put a couple of pictures on um from the food that we had but it was just so nice just to catch up and just be indoor dining like the weather has been so dull in May, like you wouldn't think that it's May. It was just so nice to sit inside and have a nice meal. I think that's one thing I've really missed is just catching up with friends and just going for a nice meal. Um, so we had a couple of cocktails, some gins. It was just like really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm getting my brows done today, which I'm really looking forward to. My eyes look so tired this morning. I literally just come with no makeup on because I don't want to sort of put um anything on my skin because of like doing my brows also getting my gel soaked off as well today um can you see how chipped they are they've lasted really well like i had my nails done here last time and they've lasted amazing but i'm gonna get them soaked off today because i'm getting them done in london next week as like a pr um thing so i thought you know when it's like catching on your hair so every time i'm like washing my hair or doing my hair it keeps catching underneath and they're just lifting at the sides now i was like can you please just get them off <laughs> Um, and I'll paint them when I get home, they'll probably look really horrible and um, then I'm getting them done on Wednesday which will be lovely so yeah I'll see what I can get in here now, getting my braids and obviously I'm going to be lying down and doing my braids and whatnot but I'm super excited I'm back home now. 
They do look a little bit darker as they've just been freshly done. I only had like a slight tint because my eyebrows are naturally quite dark. So if you see the roots on my hair, um, my eyebrows are naturally quite dark. But then the bottoms, the, the, the end bits of my eyebrows were darker, but then the root bits were quite light. So she was like, just put a bit of a tint on them because then it sort of emphasises a bit more and emphasises the shape. So I didn't really need like sort of like filling in either. But I'm honestly like so, so happy with them. Also my lashes as well. Like, look how lovely my lashes look. I'll put a little before and after picture as well. I did share these on my stories. Um, but I think my eyebrows just... I just can't believe I've never had this done before. And um, so it's basically, like, obviously laminated. And then everything's all brushed up. I also had them shaped as well. If you guys know, if you watch my other videos, like my vlogs and whatnot, I was growing my eyebrows and using castor oil. And, oh, my God, thank God I used castor oil. Like... These have grown like this because of castor oil. Like, even my eyelashes as well. Like, I've never had eyelashes like this. Um, so I totally recommend it. I know I've spoken about it quite a lot before. And I did say, like, I think it's a condition. When I had my um, brows done today as well, I was talking about um, how, like, pulling my eyebrows out and like, when I'm stressed or anxious, I just pluck them out. It's actually a condition. Um, so obviously this side was my worst side. And when I, when I got back, Ross was like, why do you look so, like why are they so up? I was like, they're meant to be like that. And then when they sort of set as well, obviously today I can't get my face wet, can't put any sort of makeup on like near them. So I was thinking I was going for a meal, so I'm just going to put a little bit of like tinted moisturiser on, and just a little bit under my eye just to sort of conceal this bit. Um, so I don't wet your face or anything for the next 24 hours. Um, and of course, and they're really low maintenance as well. So I can basically just brush them up. Make sure I just brush them up every time I have a shower or they get wet or whatnot in the morning as well. And also apply castor oil in the evenings to my brows and my lashes, which I was doing anyway in my evening skincare routine during lockdown. And I just sort of kept it up. And I'm so glad that I did. Like growing my eyebrows and eyelashes was one thing I really wanted to do during lockdown. And I'm honestly so, so happy. I honestly can't recommend the beauty bar in Tamworth enough. It's the only place in Staffordshire that does this. So of course, I'll link that Instagram handle as well. There's some really amazing before and afters on their Instagram as well. I'll put a picture of their feed on the right hand side. Um, but there's so many good before and afters on their Instagram as well. So do make sure you check them out if you are Midlands based or you live in Staffordshire, Birmingham area, because I've been looking for somewhere for ages that does this and I haven't really seen anywhere. Then I've obviously I found it on Instagram and I was like, oh, and I saw some really good before and afters and I was like, oh my God, I need to get it done. So yeah, super happy with my brows. We're just going to get ready now and um, yeah, because we're going up for a Miller and Carter later for Russie's birthday obviously his birthday tomorrow um but yeah i'm so excited for a state we're practically like eating it all weekend because the first weekend of everything just being open which is really nice it's nice not having to cook or anything i'll just like i love having takeaways but i'm just so over like staying in and having a takeaway i've missed indoor dining so much um she also soaked off my nails for me as well as you can see she's also just tidied them up and shaped them and put um some nail strength on them as well like conditioner and um, because i'm getting them done on wednesday so at least like having my gels off they're nice and shaped so they don't feel too bad so obviously when this is all sort of settled I might just um, put a, like a nude colour over the top of them till I get my nails done on Wednesday so yeah super happy with my braids I literally just can't stop staring at them they're so so nice Today is Monday and I'm just editing this vlog and thought I'd film a little clip to drop in at the end regarding my eyebrows. So this is what they look like literally. So I had them done on the Saturday, so you would have seen they would have looked very sort of like wet and very up. Obviously they were freshly laminated. Um, so of course they do sort of soften and whatnot. They had been freshly tinted as well. So I wanted to film a little clip so you can see what they look like now. I know fluffy brows aren't for everybody. I had like... The weekend when I shared my stories of having like my brows done and whatnot, I literally had, I had some not very nice DMs, like some really mean DMs. Um, and I've got a very, very thick skin. I don't like to sort of address things on here. I don't like sort of, I don't like to address things in general because I just find that I don't want to like, I don't know, like start an argument or anything. But I had some really, some really mean DMs the weekend and it did upset me. Like people telling me that I'm ugly and... I, I just, I, I honestly, it, it did really affect me the weekend, but I don't want to sort of 
bang on about it sort of thing. I know fluffy braids aren't for everybody, but it doesn't give people the right to think that they can like send me DMs telling me that I'm ugly and oh, I, I it's 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 what comes with the job unfortunately. And this is where I need to sort of work on. I know a lot when you share things, people have an opinion of everything. So I didn't want to sort of address it on Instagram because I thought I don't want these people coming back into my DMs. But I know people that watch my vlogs and follow me for me and I am a genuine person and a nice person and when people send me messages like that it does affect me it does upset me but um anyway I thought I'd just show you what they look like now so as you can see they are like rather fluffy but these are all brushed up but I can sort of brush them down as well as you can see like because they're slot they have been tinted so they do look a little bit darker but I had so many like little fine hairs that were really blonde so again it's just giving me more shape and my eyebrows look fuller as well and obviously I just have to make sure I brush them when they're wet um, or after they've been in the shower and whatnot I have to brush them and then brush them in the morning same with my lashes as well with the LVL um, but I'm super happy with them as you can see they can stay up I can brush them down like it literally they don't have to it's basically when you style them they'll literally stay there because like when when I do my eyebrows I do the whole fluffy brow and use brow fix and everything so obviously this is more of a permanent way to hold it and um, it lasts for around eight weeks they say but obviously it just depends on how much you look after them but yeah I'm super happy with them and thought I'd just drop this little clip in at the end of this video so yeah if you have liked this week's vlog guys then please do make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and also make sure you follow me over on my Instagram as well so yeah also thank you to everyone who always comes back and watch my vlogs and leave me such lovely comments I just love this YouTube community I love chatting with you guys and I love that you guys know me more on a personal level as well. So yeah, as always guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching my videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.